It's my feel good birthday show. Oh man, I love the sound of this. A fresh new entrepreneurship space, if you will, called the Arts at ACP. It's being opened at the American Corner in Pretoria, located in the Eskia Mpashlele Community Library in Chwane. Go and check it out if you can. Now, joining us via video call all the way from Los Angeles is Alexandra Grant, an artist who has played an integral part in the art installation in the space called the Democratization of Arts. And she is here to tell us all about it. A very good morning or good evening, both together to you, Alexandra. How are you? I'm really well. Thank you for having me. Um, so good to connect with you on the other side of the world because it just reinforces the idea that we really have become, I think, more now than ever after this last year, a global village. But you have decided to extend your reach all the way to beautiful Pretoria. Why did you get involved in this project? What was your motivation initially? I was invited uh, to come and work with a group of young artists and poets to create a mural in the ACP space. and. It was supposed to be in person, uh, and unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we've had to make do with doing everything via Zoom, which has actually been really, really, it's been wonderful for me to see and get to meet everyone and then let them just elaborate this incredible artwork. Well, to elaborate on that, you've obviously had to kind of take the, the notion of skills transferal to a whole different level through this reimagined process. What skills were imparted with the facilitators in order for them to be able to kind of interpret the, the spoken written art into the visual art? How did that process play out? I was able to work with a great uh duo of poets who created a poem called A Celebration that's all about how we are like books in a library. So I think because the ACP is in a library that really resonated with people and then we just created a way of mapping their poem. So finding key words that people could draw and then in my workshops on Zoom I had people draw the same word and what you could see is that everyone interprets a word like frog absolutely differently. So it was really about setting a framework, setting a stage, and then inviting people to the celebration to have fun drawing together. And it didn't end there because you've now opened it up to the public to weigh in, to have their voices heard or seen, if you will. How did um, we see the facilitators training translate into the public now contributing to the installation while it was at the American Corner? Well, they learned how uh, a welcoming, how to be great hosts. So they have aprons, people can come and, you know, paint without feeling like they're going to get their clothes dirty. They um, <laughs> are welcome to interpret, you know, no one needs to be an artist is the coolest part of it. You know, that they, all you had to do was find a word or a phrase that resonated with you. And then you were handed a pencil or a, a paintbrush and you could participate. So I think it really was the spirit that the, the facilitators who are ambassadors maybe for the poem um that they uh, basically were, were hosting a really wonderful dinner party with people they've never met so i think that if i did anything it would set the tone for that dinner party <laughs> I, I love that. I'd, I'd let you host me at least once a week. I, I really would. Yeah. You seem like the most interesting person. And I absolutely love the fact that, that this is at its heart about connectedness. And boy, haven't we needed to, to feel reconnected with each other um, over this last crazy year. And of course, this moment has been captured in a time-lapse movie of the project being created. Can you elaborate a bit more on that? Well, it's an incredible thing when you tell a group of people who are strangers to each other, you're going to draw a poem together. <laughs> and they face sort of empty white space and they see these key words in the poem on post-it notes and they can't imagine what it will look like in one day, in two days. So what a time lapse allows is it captures that first moment where the, you know, the walls are empty and then little by little, a viewer can see what it means to add on to a drawing that another person made and often when you weren't there. So I think that's the coolest part of it is that people are collaborating with each other, but maybe not at the same time, which is of course safe for the pandemic, but also super interesting um, to see, oh wait, I did that part, you know, four days ago. And you really get that in the spirit of the time lapse. 
I uh, absolutely love that. You have a radiant smile. You have a radiant spirit. I cannot wait for you to host me for dinner the next time I'm in LA. And I hope that's sooner rather than later. But thank you so much for giving so much of that spirit to South Africa. We've had a very difficult time over the last year and a bit. And something like this I know is going to inspire people, get people talking. But most importantly, let people feel connected, not just here, but globally. So thank you so, so much for that. Thank you for having me, and I can't wait to visit Pretoria, too. Maybe our dinner will be there. I love it. I don't <laughs> mind hosting you any time. Um, an amazing Thanks. collaboration that displays the universal accessibility of art. I actually just loved how Graham nicely flirted his way to LA there. It was fantastic. But you know what? Art is unifying and it is beautiful. And that's why we visited the Eskim Pachlele Community Library in the heart of the city of Chwane to capture the makings of a beautiful mural. And while we're there, we also had a chance to interview some of the artists as well as the poets Fadzai Novo Dube and Desire Notkolo Mahlangu, who wrote the poem A Celebration that Inspired the Art. Through the difficult times of this COVID pandemic, we've used American Corner Pretoria as the space where local people in Pretoria and surrounds can come and use their skills and develop themselves, uh, you know, to create better opportunities for themselves. The U.S. Embassy decided to do a two-part program. The first part of the program was our Arts Envoy, where we invited American artist Alexandra Grant to come and do a virtual workshop with our eight amazing selected art facilitators, who are local South African artists, fine artists, visual artists, children's books, writers, etc., and to teach them methodologies on how to take the written language and you know, turn that into visual art. The reason why I chose to apply for this program, it was because of it came in at a great timing since I'm an artist and I've just completed my advanced diploma. So I needed something that would actually put my, my, my skills into training so that I can actually engage with the public art space and also with the people around the art space as well. So I wanted to, to, to really practice my skills and start putting them into good use here. The experience for me has been good so far because I met different people. Um, I've learned a lot from them. Um, so, yes, it's been a great experience. Then the second part of the program was to get those eight art facilitators here into our amazing American Corner space in Samimark Square in Pretoria and come and, uh, you know, install some, some vibe and some energy into this space and basically be a part of Chwane's artistic history. So the poem that was written by two local artists, Fadzai Nova Dube and Notola Desire, and it's called A Celebration, and uh, it, it's basically about life itself, all the eccentricities and everything that, that comes together using words, and uh, basically a celebration of poetry in, its, in itself. Beyond our teaching of judging people by their covers or their contents of their pages because it's different from our own, we birth an opportunity to find a peace we've never known. Aren't we just beautiful in our sun-kissed hues of skin? Let our kin not get lost in translation or marred by segregation. Let our books pass down as tradition to nourish coming generations. We are all books in this library with different stories and identities. To read is to join the celebration. Are you here for the festivities? The poem is called The Celebration, and I co-wrote it with Notolo Desire. And basically, the poem is about celebrating each other's differences and embracing diversity. And you know, books carry so much meaning, and basically the poem is about celebrating that, celebrating knowledge, celebrating diversity, and and instead of us as a society looking at how we are different, the poem encourages us to embrace what's, what's similar between us, you know, and celebrating diversity. So yeah, I think that's one of the most amazing things about this project, you get to learn along the way and it never stops.
So what makes this location unique is Eskiap Patlele Community Library here in Semimok Square in Pretoria is that it allows the public, anybody in the public, to come in here, whether you're an entrepreneur, you're an artist, you're a business person, you can come in here, use our facilities, create opportunities for yourself, network with your people and improve your life. Amazing. That, of course, was the fresh new art and entrepreneurship space called Art at ACP at Eskia Mpashla Lele Community Library in Pretoria. An initiative by the U.S. Embassy that brought local artists and poets together with an accomplished and well-known American visual artist named Alexandra Grant to contribute to a collaborative and permanent mural installation at American Corner, Pretoria. We love art and we love to see art from all over the world unify, especially in this beautiful country, South Africa. Oh, you can make my day.